Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, just want to update everybody. October 17th passed. I did run the Long Beach Half Marathon. Did a great job. Thank you for all those who came out support and those who saw me um, at running my race. Uh, really appreciate the love. Also, I'm just really excited. A lot of things happening. Uh, more speaking engagements. I just did a, um, an interview on a nationally syndicated uh, Vietnamese TV show. Um, based on one of the uh, speaking engagements I did in the past, this person asked me to come on his TV show, and it should be airing the first week of November. Um, so big things happening. Um, so really appreciate all the support. Want to jump into this uh, topic? It's really important um, based on relationships that I've been talking to a lot of friends of mine that have been going through um, a lot of things, especially breakups. The dreaded oh, you know, finally it's over. We decided to go our separate ways and. Uh, how do I get over it? That's the main question um, a lot of people have been asking me. And he, from my opinion, my perspective, this is what I think. And this is what I've done personally. Um, you have to deal with your emotions and you have to deal with the fact that it is over. No matter who broke up with who, if you chose to break it off or if the other person, other person chose to break it off with you, you're still going to go through some sort of emotional just trauma or just emotional disconnect. Now realize that you are going to go through that. It might take a little bit of time to get all those feelings out, but deal with it. You know, there are times where you're going to be lonely um, because, you know, you're used to having that person by your side all the time or whatnot. But those are the times where you can revamp yourself and you can, you know, find out what your goals are again, uh, reinvent yourself, see what your aspirations are, uh, but really deal with the, the issues, you know, that you have inside yourself. It's not a bad thing when you're sad to understand that, okay, you're sad, all right? Now, how am I gonna get out of this? The more you address your feelings and your emotions head on, the quicker you get over things. I know a lot of my friends and a lot of people have told me, well, what happens if you just jump into a new relationship? Here's the deal. I believe if you go from one relationship to the next, you never learn anything, you know? After the breakup, give yourself some time to really see what worked, what didn't work, why you got on the other person's nerves, why they got on your nerves, and then try to figure out like exactly why it didn't work and how to make it better the next time you do get in a relationship. Um, a lot of my friends do jump on. They, they move on to something they call better, uh, which is good for them, but just not my style just because uh, I figured that, you know, you go through all these emotions and you never deal with it. And so as you grow up as an adult, it's better to deal with it so you know in the future if you go through another breakup, it's not going to impact you as hard as this one. So, like I'm saying, deal with your emotions. Use this time to reinvent yourself, revamp yourself. Um, set your goals and aspirations. You know, do the things that you want to do um, on your bucket list. And, um, you know, just keep accomplishing your goals. All right? So, any questions, email me, melodicmike at gmon.com. Uh, much love for Melodic Mike. I wanted to throw out there one of my friends. She, is, she started her own YouTube channel. And I want to give her a lot of support. Her name is Marianne. Um, her YouTube channel is called Marianne the Foodie. Marianne the Foodie. I will put the link down here and over here. Uh, but check her out. She's going to a lot of um, industry events for food. You know, like cupcakes and all these different kind of food vendor stuff. Um, and she's been giving her, uh, you know, she's been doing interviews and she's been giving her opinions on stuff. And just... Basically introducing those people who cannot go out to all these street fairs and food fairs and food vendors um, to see what it's all about on her channel. So please follow uh, my friend Marianne the Foodie. Uh, like I said, I'll link you everywhere and uh, much love and support to her. Uh, hopefully everything goes well for you and yeah. Let's see here. What else is there? Want to touch base. Do have another speaking engagement. Um, set up for November. I'm excited to speak to more youth and help more people out. Um, oh, I did want to address some people were asking me, what, how are you doing all this and you know, wh what keeps you driven and all this stuff. Look, I got one life. This is my opinion. Uh, this is how I live my life. I got one life. I'm trying to do as much as I can to help others. Main goal. That's my main goal. So find out what your passion is and what you want to do. Um, and lastly, one thing, my baby cousin, baby cousins, are in a band. I will link you to the webpage. Please help me by voting them. 
Um, they're in this contest, they're in the semifinals, and they need as many votes as they can. Um, they're called the Free Fall. And so young kids, you know, all junior high, high school uh, bands, and I'll link their stuff. So, yeah. Any questions, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about how to deal with a breakup. Uh, much blessings to everybody. Thank you for your love and support. And I'm out. Until next time, stay blessed. Stay tuned. More to come. Take care. Cheers.